So after I did my YA bookshelf tour, there was an overwhelming response in the comments of that video where people were interested in seeing the more adult books on my shelves. Um, so that's what we're going to do. Hide your children. <laughs> Today I'm going to be looking at my genre bookcase, which is anything from urban fantasy to horror to um, sci-fi to just plain weird stuff. I've also got some memoir mixed in here, so let's get to it. The first book I have is Mario Acevedo's The Nymphos of Rocky Flats. Uh, Mario's a friend of mine. We actually have co-wrote um, a screenplay together. Um, Dakota Cassidy's The Accidental Werewolf. This is kind of a saucy one. Lauren Dane's Undercover. These are all... The top shelf and a little bit of the second shelf are all people that I kind of hang out with at um, conventions and, and in my personal life, so... Um, Marjorie Liu's Tiger's Eye, and I'll put those here. Also, Iron Hunt. I've been looking forward to reading this one. Caitlin Kittredge's Street Magic. This is a great urban fantasy book. As is this. Stacia Kane's Unholy Ghost. Just genius. I was lucky enough to um, beta read for her on this, and it's just insanely good. The entire series is, really. Um, this is one of her older books, Demon Inside, and the first book in that series is Personal Demons. Jim Butcher's Stormfront. Patricia Briggs' Moon Called. Jackie Kessler's Hell's Bells, which is a succubus book. Uh, and Hotter Than Hell. Jackie and um, Rochelle Mead were, were a couple of the first people from Kensington that I met, um, or who were publishing through Kensington. Uh, let's see, My Big Fat Supernatural Honeymoon, which is an anthology edited by Pian Elrod. I got this at Caitlin Kittredge's, one of her first signings. Um, J.F. Lewis is Staked. Uh, here he's, this is pretty funny and irreverent and uh, anyway, this is Rochelle Mead's Succubus on Top. This is the second one in the Succubus Blues series. And this is a, a French version that she gave me, um, which the cover's awesome on that one. Um, let's see, Lola St. Crows to Helen Back. I'm not sure where this is in the series number five, obviously. Urban Fantasy series. Michelle Rowan's Bitten and Smitten. Vicki Peterson's The Scent of Shadows. Vicki's a really nice lady person. Girl, I should say. She's definitely younger than I am. Um, but she helped us set up a, a signing for us in Vegas, which was awesome. Um, Nicole Peeler's Tempest Rising, a really great selkie book. And Tracking the Tempest is the second book in, in Nicole Peeler's series. Von Monk's Magic to the Bone. Rochelle Mead's Stormborn. And Michelle Maddox Countdown. This is actually one of Michelle Rowan's pseudonyms. Fathom by Sherry Priest. Uh, Four and Twenty Blackbirds by Sherry Priest. This is actually a fantastic cover um, that Tor did on a reissue of hers, of her books. Actually, an urban fantasy series, but the the character is a um, sort of a, a mixed ethnicity uh, a slam poet who can see things and she has visions and things which is really awesome um the late jennifer rarden's once bitten twice shy that's the first in her jazz park series um cat richardson's poltergeist and the first one gray walker cat's local to me and we so we hang out occasionally jerry smith ready's wicked game and um gene stein's the becoming and blood drive and down here the last of the my my pals kind of thing is Anton Strout's Dead to Me and Deader Still and J. Wells' Redheaded Stepchild and this is a really funny book. Tim Pratt's The Strange Adventures of Ranger Girl in the Company of Ogres by Ailey Martinez with a oh price tag. Oh, I hate it. And Already Dead by Charlie Houston. Uh, Caroline and I dressed up as accident victims. This one is a bind-up, a hardback bind-up of um, the Suki Stackhouse novels. This is the first three called Dead in Dixie. And I believe it has Dead Until Dark, Living Dead in Dallas, and Club Dead in it. This is Mark Danielewski's House of Leaves. It's actually a pretty substantial book. It almost looks like a textbook. Um, it's a really kind of disturbing 
horror novel which leaves the reader feeling like the book itself is changing you. Really, if you've not heard of this book, definitely pick it up. I don't have enough horror on my shelves, but this is one of the series that Caroline is reading. It's Guillermo del Toro's The Fall that he's written with Chuck Hogan. I imagine that he's probably, that it's kind of a James Patterson um, situation where Guillermo del Toro did like an outline and Chuck Hogan revised it as a novel. That's my suspicion anyway. This is the second in the series. The first was The Strain. World War Z by Max Brooks. Fantastic zombie book. Fantastic zombie book. The Chinatown Death Cloud Peril by Paul Malmont. This was a really interesting mashup of pulp noir, um, like horror, Lovecraftian stuff, even some zombies, um, ninjas. It's an insane, but a really great read. Black Hills by Dan Simmons. This one has not even been cracked open, so I can't tell you exactly what it is. I know that there's a ghost involved, and that's about it. It's historical. And this is Dan Simmons' first book, Summer of Night. It's considered um, a classic of horror, and I have not yet read it. Justin Cronin's The Passage. This was the hardback edition when it first came out. I made it through the first section of it. There's a couple more paperbacks. Um, Warren Hammond's Cop, which is a, a futuristic um, sort of noir. And The Tomb by F. Paul Wilson, which is the first in his Repairman Jack series. I think there's some supernatural elements to it, but I'm not sure. Um, Max Brooks, The S Zombie Survival Guide. Um, just really sort of fantastic and kind of funny take on it. Uh, Ariel Gore. I don't even know if this goes in this section, but... I picked this up at Powell's down in Portland, and it just looked fantastic. The Traveling Death and Resurrection Show by Ariel Gore. One of my favorite books of all time, Jennifer Government by Max Berry. Um, yeah, definitely pick that up. If, you, if you're loving um, dystopian YA novels, this would be a good jump to adult. The Terror by Dan Simmons. This is a, definitely a well-loved copy. It's falling apart. Probably should replace it, but um, about a, a historical... Well, you can see things did not go well down here. I don't even know if that's coming up. But um, it's a historical trip to um, the Arctic that goes very, very wrong. There's a monster. I can tell you that. Um, this is a book that I've kind of started into probably maybe a third of the way into and haven't picked back up again although I really need to I hear it's a masterpiece um, Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell by Susanna Clark Necking by Chris Salvatore don't know anything about it really uh, Eat the Dark by Joe Schreiber which was a really um, really sort of a throwback to those sort of horrifying novel horrifying even movies of the 80s and this is about a madman supernatural type madman on the loose in a in a hospital that has lost its power. Emma Bull's War for the Oaks. This is a um, one of the precursors of the big urban fantasy movement and considered a classic of the genre. Another one of Sherry Priest's books. This is Dreadful Skin. This has an amazing cover. I think it involves a nun and some werewolves and it's fantastic. Magic for Beginners by Kelly Link. Uh, two books that I'm really looking forward to reading. I should read one this summer, actually. Victor Gishler's Go Go Girls of the Apocalypse and Vampire A Go Go. And those are supposed to be sort of horror comedy hybrids, really kind of weird stuff. Neil Gaiman's Smoke and Mirrors, which is a short fiction by him. And Tanana Reeve Duet's The Living Blood. Dan Simmons' Song of Cali, which apparently is absolutely horrifying. I had to pick that up at a used bookstore just to... Um, just to find it. Ray Garten's Live Girls, a uh, vampire horror novel, I believe. A Rush of Wings by Adrian Phoenix. Richard Cadry's The Butcher Bird. This, I have to say that this cover absolutely um, sold me on the book. And the, his writing is fantastic. He has another series called um, Sandman Slim. Um, Justin Gosanis's Black Magic Woman. Simon R. Green's A Walk on the Night Side, which is a bind-up of Something from the Night Side, Agents of Light and Darkness, and Nightingale's Lament. David Wellington's Monster Nation. This is the second book in his Monster Island series. And Matt Haig's The Radleys.